Aloha! Thank you for joining today's live stream. My name is Master Paul and I'd like to invite you to stay for today is about flourishing in your life. How to use soul power to increase the flourishing in your life. Now flourishing for those of you that are not familiar with it means blessings in every area financially, relationship and in other areas. Today we're going to be focusing on financial flourishing, but the wisdom applies to every area of flourishing. So I encourage you, if you're just scrolling through for the first time, to stick around. This could be very valuable as we will be using the wisdom of soul and soul power to bring about changes uh, in this area that tends to be blocking quite a few people, especially at this point in time. Of course there are some who are doing well out there there are some who have no problem financially and god bless them i hope that they are smart with it and share it with others but there are many of us who are awake and aware but have significant financial uh, restrictions and flourishing restrictions so uh, for those of us who have those kinds of conditions you may wish to stick around this could be of great value to you so today is the uh <coughs> i want to say 13th of the month. It is a Thursday. It is the last day of this week in which I do the live stream. So I'll be heading into the weekend with uh, one of the one of my mentors, um, Master Francisco Quintero, and he is Master Shah's one of Master Shah's top teachers. He uh, writes all of the uh, educational material that trains all of the teachers, uh, and he is a very pure and beautiful soul. So I'll be training with him this weekend, or excuse me, not training with him, enjoying a, a weekend of the Dao Chang and honoring the ancestors. So if you have uh, any time available in this weekend, I do recommend that you sign up for that event through <coughs> drsha.com forward slash Hawaii. And um, because it's just a rare opportunity. Friday night is free, by the way, 6.30 to 8.30 Hawaii time. And then the weekend has a little expense associated with it. But in my experience, very often I actually honor four events I don't even attend because they offer so many blessings during those events, uh, one could say I get my money's worth. So I don't mind honoring for something even if I don't attend because I comprehend the value of it. <clears throat> so we've got quite a few people joining us. Let me uh, stop for a moment and acknowledge all those. Aloha Linda Martinez, welcome. Aloha Angie Taylor, welcome Sherry Jarman. Aloha Elizabeth and Barbara Ecker, welcome. Aloha also to Kathleen Monahan. Welcome to Rosemary. Welcome uh, Pat and welcome also to Linda Jansen. Welcome Kristen Rojas. Thank you Kristen for supporting me. Uh, welcome Janice. Welcome Sam Swainham. And welcome also to Jax. Welcome uh, Susan Birchmore. Welcome Ilona, Andre and Kayla Stewart. Welcome. Aloha CJ. Aloha Tanya, welcome Karen Hogan. And Becky Lefab, aloha. Welcome also to Alicia Sosa and Suki Singh, aloha. Welcome to Shelly. And welcome Jean Wood. Hi Kelly Pritchard, welcome. Welcome Brandy Tricus. Tricus. And welcome also to Joyce Ann Bordelon. Welcome to Saya Jade Jade. Aloha Ari. Aloha Mega Varma. <clears throat> so it seems like a popular subject. A lot of people want to know more about how they can increase their flourishing. Welcome also to Yvonne de Clipal. Thank you. There's uh, some new folks joining us today. It seems like every day because of Kristen's sharing on the groups, we get a lot of new people. Uh, showing so it's always a blessing for both of us it's a blessing for me to be able to serve you and it is a blessing for you to be able to receive this wisdom and information so for those that are new my name is uh, Master Paul Fletcher I am a certified Tao uh, teacher certified practitioner if you will and um, I have been doing live streams for about a year I teach all things soul if you missed the last couple of days highly recommend you go back and watch those uh, you can do that by above this Facebook uh, video is uh, uh, some links, including links to podcasts or links to um, the previous videos that have been recorded. Um, there is literally a wealth of wisdom in, in all of those. Welcome, Dinette, and welcome also to Kristen Strachan. 
<clears throat> so I encourage you to go back to those. Uh, we always start by connecting heart to heart, soul to soul, and chanting the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony. This Source Soul Song is a servant to humanity. It is currently in 43 languages. And uh, we encourage people to chant five minutes a day at noon their time. If we can get people in all time zones around the world to just take five minutes out of their day to chant a song of love, peace, and harmony, it could shift humanity in a very dramatic way. So this is why we chant it. So let us join together by placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. <clears throat> so welcome also to Becky, welcome Danette, welcome also to Thania, welcome John Crowley, welcome Jana Brookskill. And we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand remains gently pointed towards heaven. We close our eyes and let us connect to receive this blessing. You can make a request as this is a blessing, <clears throat> but let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and I will invite in the beings of light. Dear our beloved Creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, the soul of all angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters and ascended masters, the soul of all gurus, lamas, sifus, and saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, to the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you all, honor you all, respect you all. We ask most humbly for your presence at this time. We ask you to please come to sit in each of our heart centers. Bless us to more fully develop and open our message center. And today specifically, bless each and every one of us that is listening, that is watching, to open our awarenesses to what creates our lack of flourishing and guide us to what we can do each and every day to increase our flourishing. We are very, very grateful. Dear the Source, Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, respect you. Very grateful for your service. As we chant your song, could you please bless all souls in all universes, and we invite all souls at this time to join with us to offer this unconditional service. So please close your eyes to receive this blessing. For those that know it, please serve. Lu la lu la li Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la Lu la ha li lu la Lu la li lu la Wo ai wo xin her ling Wo ai trun man le Wang ling rung her bu shir shang Shang ai ping on the she Shang ai ping on the she I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, oh, how, oh, how, oh. thank you, thank you, thank you. So we've had a few more folks join us. So welcome to Raina Lynn. Aloha, thank you for joining. <coughs> Again, welcome to Ali and welcome also to Sea Love. Welcome Criselda Febres, thank you for joining. Welcome Sasha, Johannes and Candy. Aloha to everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for hitting the share button, letting other people know about this live stream. <clears throat> For those that have just joined us, my name is Paul Fletcher. I am called Master Paul because I am a certified master teacher in all things soul. So it's my honor to be with you here today. If you enjoy this wisdom teaching, please hit the subscribe button. If you have to leave early, I understand. Know that you can come back and watch the recording on my Facebook page. All right? Um, so I look forward to serving you. Today is about flourishing and how we can use soul power to increase our flourishing. 
<clears throat> now flourish I chose flourishing instead of financial blessings because uh, we all have varying levels of financial problems flourishing on the other hand covers a little bit wider range and it includes finances as well as other things and although all my emphasis on the teaching will be around blessing our finances um, do know that this wisdom applies to all areas of your life in flourishing a great deal of the wisdom comes from my my teacher master Shah and this being uh, has been serving humanity since birth of course but for the last 20 years and he's become very well recognized around the world with over 20 books many of which are New York Times bestsellers the reason I chose to follow this teacher and to follow the wisdom that he shares is because it works very simple if it didn't work I wouldn't be paying attention to what he is saying uh, he is also a beautiful and unconditional servant who who refuses to allow any of his teachers to have um, to have ego uh, he refuses to to uh, allow them to to take credit for anything. This is why I give credit to him because he is such a benevolent being. He has brought to us the power of soul in a very unique way. Uh, by far, he is an expert in soul power. And one of the things that he shares is that everything has a soul. In this example, including the soul of your finances, the soul of flourishing. So all finances have a root a root cause if you will uh, so if we have success in life you know some people they, they, they're just not that smart and yet no matter what they do it's always successful and some people have MBAs coming out their ears and no matter what they do they can't seem to put two nickels together why well the root cause is the same the root cause of all success and all failure in every aspect of life is spiritual virtue and spiritual debt okay so I'm going to read something from you from this book. I'm not selling books. I'm not promoting his book. It just happens to be a good source of information on this subject matter. It's called Soul Over Matter. And it just came out about a year ago. Uh, this other gentleman here, uh, this gentleman, his name is Adam Markell. <clears throat> he is a, a guru on mind over matter. And he teaches um, people how to become wealthy using mind over matter techniques, positivity, etc. And he met Master Shaw at an expo, and uh, Master Shaw asked if he could offer a blessing for this man's uh, event for financial flourishing. And the man had to make a decision. He didn't even know who Master Shaw was, he just spoke for a few minutes. So he went ahead and said, okay. Um, and for him, it was actually a very big risky move because his event had not started yet. So it needs to start with a good bang, so to speak. So Master Shaw offered a blessing and he shared that it was his most successful event ever. Um, in any case, they came together. Master Shaw offered a blessing to this man's son who was deaf from birth. So Master Shaw offered a blessing and his son could hear again. Now, it wasn't perfect hearing like you and me, but for the first time since birth, the child could hear. Uh, and that was extraordinary. That really opened up this man's heart to who is this Master Shah. Um, so they wrote a book together and they combined uh, mind over matter technology and soul over matter technology. So what is soul over matter? It works on the foundational understanding that everyone and everything has a soul, including your finances, and that uh, soul is higher than mind. So the order is soul, heart, mind, and then the energy and matter manifests. We all, uh, uh, if you're watching this, you're, you haven't just fallen off the boat. You're obviously aware on some level um, uh, spiritually. And so you know about things like creative thinking, uh, what you think is what you receive, manifestation, etc., etc. <clears throat> I got to scroll back a minute here and acknowledge some of the folks that just came in just so they know I've seen them. So Aloha uh, Rishav, welcome. Aloha to uh, Jess Christensen. Welcome also Diane Wooten. Welcome also to uh, Raul and Lori Hickman. Anyone else, if I missed you, please forgive me. So soul over matter. What Master Shah taught this gentleman, who was a guru in this industry, that they were talking and the gentleman said, you know, there's one thing I don't understand, Master Shah. He said, Aloha Anna, welcome. He said, um, I teach the same wisdom to hundreds of thousands of people, literally hundreds of thousands. Welcome KLLA. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. And this man said, but I don't understand why 
the same people who have the same levels of intelligence and the same MBAs and the same degrees and, and, and businesses and whatnot, they apply what I teach them. They apply it with fervor in many cases, but certain ones succeed and certain ones don't. And he asked Master Shah, can you please enlighten me as to why that is? And Master Shah's response to him was very simple. Karma, spiritual debt, spiritual virtue. So now I'm going to read to you uh, on that subject matter so you grasp the nature of heaven and earth and the nature of virtue and the nature of wealth. Okay? <clears throat> so, the, the uh, bold print here is why some people have financial challenges. The root cause of poor finances and all kinds of financial challenges is bad karma. Now, I know you probably are, all those that have watched me for a while, you've heard this a bunch of times. It sounds like a broken record doesn't mean it's not true. Keep listening. In order to self-clear karma, remember the teaching above. If you have any issues of body karma, mouth karma, or thought karma, speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil, right? Think in no evil. Please be serious and disciplined to correct them. Now, this is not correcting the past and then repeat, repeating the future. That's like going to Catholic uh, uh, Mass and on Sunday and say, please forgive me, Father, I have sinned. You know, I, I did this bad thing, this bad thing, this bad. Father says, okay, 20 Hail Marys. And then the guy goes out and does it again and then comes back Sunday and repeats. That doesn't work too well in heaven. So what he's saying is watch your thoughts, watch your words, watch your actions. Not only for, for, for dissolving them in the past, but moving forward. Because this is your current moment forward that also creates your financial conditions. Uh, he goes on to say, there is only one way for you to self-clear karma. Offer good service. Make others happier and healthier. Help humanity and Mother Earth pass through this difficult time. Another good service is to create good karma. Creating good karma reduces your karmic debt. Kind of simple, right? It's not like it's rocket science. Good karma offsets bad karma. And I've taught you how many times have I said, chant love, peace, and harmony. Chant from your heart. Serve seven billion souls. The moment you start chanting unconditionally to serve other souls, what do you think heaven is doing for your Akashic record? They're dropping tons of flowers of virtue into it. All of the souls that you're unconditionally serving are giving you virtue. They're giving you a good their virtue. What is virtue? Good karma. That's offsetting the spiritual debt. The more you serve. Very simple wisdom. <clears throat> Creating good karma reduces your karmic debt. If you offer good service, virtue from heaven's virtue bank, did you know heaven had a virtue bank? Is deposited to your virtue bank account in your Akashic Records book. This good karma comes to you in the form of heaven's flowers, which can be red, gold, rainbow, purple, crystal, or mixed colors. Virtue, or heaven's flowers, are spiritual currency. This heavenly reward repays your karmic debt, step by step. You must clear your karma first. Clear your karma's debts first. When this root blockage is removed, you will then have the possibility of seeing your finances flourish. Virtue is yin money, Y-I-N, yin money, which is currency in the spiritual world. Money on Mother Earth is yang money, Y-A-N-G, yin yang. So virtue, good karma, is money in heaven. Virtue on earth is money on earth. <clears throat> Just as a human being needs money to spend in the physical world, a soul needs virtue to spend in the spiritual world. The one sentence secret about your relationship between spiritual money and physical money is virtue in the spiritual world can transform to money in the physical world and vice versa. Pretty potent stuff, huh? You might want to consider getting the book, Soul Over Matter. Um, again, I'm not selling it. I'm not promoting it. It's just an excellent resource. It's up to you if you want to get it. Welcome, Lauren Kay. Welcome also to Gloria. Welcome, Diana Victoria. And welcome, Liliana Barantes. Welcome, Annie Smith. Welcome, Flory Bird. Uh, and welcome Sasha. 
welcome everybody else if I have not mentioned your name. So, let us not waste a lot of time on regurgitating that which is kind of obvious. Let us instead use our time wisely to create the best conditions where we can release spiritual debt and gain virtue. Okay? The second part of this is intellectually, consciously watching your thoughts, words, and actions and staying in a place of gratitude. Okay? It doesn't matter if something negative is in front of you. It doesn't matter if the bill is hard to pay. It doesn't matter what it is or what it has looked like in the past. You must bring a conscious intelligence to the table if you're going to move from where you've been to where you'd like to be in flourishing. You must choose to see whatever it is in front of you as temporary and that your thoughts, words, and actions and your service is making a difference. Okay, That's where your focus needs to remain. You don't give attention to anything in front of you that has in the past brought you worry or concern or fear or blah 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 around money. Don't give it attention. It's there, but it's there because of what you did months and months and years and years and lifetimes ago. It doesn't mean it's going to be there moving forward. Got it? It's so what you put your attention on is what brings your future. So there's two parts to bringing financial flourishing into your world. One is your self-responsibility, what you're putting your attention on, your thoughts, words, and actions. Okay, Stay in gratitude. Uh, stay in positivity. Do not put attention on all whatever shows up negatively. Remind yourself it's coming from the past. Part two, um, serve. Serve, 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 serve. And if you've been serving for 10 years and you get people to shirt off your back and it's still not working, that's not an excuse. All heaven's been doing the whole time is paying down your spiritual debts. Heaven doesn't make mistakes, guys. So when you uh, do this, you do it until things change. And then you don't stop serving. You keep serving so you can cushion your bank account in heaven so that when you go up there, you can hang out a little bit longer instead of turning around and come back right away. Right? You want to be wise about this. <clears throat> So we're going to do a forgiveness practice for all of the financial um, damage we may have caused. Then we're going to um, do a practice to generate financial blessings. But we're not going to do it to generate financial blessings. We're going to do it to serve others unconditionally because that's the rules of life. Unconditional service creates virtue. The more unconditional, the greater the virtue. The more pure the service, the greater the virtue. If you're just going to chant along with me and you're not really fully present, you're not really offering unconditional service, you think heaven doesn't see that? It's very, very, you know, heaven watches everything, guys. They know your thoughts, your words, your actions. They know everything. And you'll figure that out when you head up upstairs. But in the meantime, just know it. So let's do this. Let's earn some virtue, and let's clear some debts, shall we? We're going to start with the forgiveness practice. Let's place our hands again in soul light, soul service, hand position. Dropping our left hand in front of our heart center. We're going to close our eyes and become truly, fully present. Repeat after me if it is comfortable for you. Dear my beloved Creator, all layers of the Divine Tao and Source, they're my spiritual mothers and fathers, my heaven's team, guides, angels, and saints. I love you all, honor you all, respect you all, and ask most humbly and most sincerely for your blessings, for your wisdom, for your guidance, for your forgiveness. Continue to repeat, dear all souls. Uh, Try this one. Dear the soul of my ancestors, please come. Dear the soul of my ancestors, you have created both good and unpleasant spiritual virtue and spiritual debt in our lives. Please do this forgiveness practice with me. Okay, always very important to invite the ancestors. Always invite them, always have them do the practice with you because they are partially responsible for the good things and the not so good things in your world. <clears throat> Please continue to repeat if it is comfortable for you. Dear all souls in all time, my name is 
Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. You state your name. On behalf of myself and my ancestors, I wish to most humbly and sincerely apologize for harming your life, your family's flourishing, and any aspect of your financial wealth. I know without a doubt that I have created harm or suffering for others, created problems in their finances and flourishing, because my finances and my flourishing is well below where I would desire it to be. I sincerely, sincerely apologize. If I or my ancestors have caused you to lose your job, your livelihood, in any lifetime, if I or my ancestors have caused you to lose your land or your form of livelihood where you make your money, and as a result you suffered your family suffered. I sincerely, sincerely apologize. If I or my ancestors have operated businesses and have been corrupt, if we have cheated or stolen from you, offered wrong business dealings, worked with selfishness instead of win-win, and as a result, you, your loved ones, your families, or your ancestors have been harmed in finances. From my heart and soul, I most humbly and sincerely, 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 sincerely apologize. I know that just asking for forgiveness is insufficient. I cannot even begin to imagine how much you must have suffered. I have been told it is possible that family members starved to death because there was no money coming in because of the possibility of actions that my ancestors or I may have taken in selfishness and in greed. And this is completely unacceptable. I truly would never wish that upon any soul. And if in any lifetime I or my ancestors have caused this level of suffering to you, your loved ones, or your ancestors. Truly, most humbly and sincerely, from my heart and soul, apologize. I will chant every day to serve all of those souls that have been harmed by the wrong, selfish actions that have been caused by me and my ancestors and I hope that someday I can receive your unconditional forgiveness if any souls anywhere in time have brought lack financial suffering to me to my ancestors they have caused us to lose our jobs caused us to lose our livelihoods stolen from me or my ancestors if they have lied, cheated, if they have been remorseless, if they have done any of the same things to me that I have done to others or more, I offer all of those souls that have brought these sufferings to me my unconditional forgiveness. I now recognize that a great deal of the suffering that has come to me is because of what I and my ancestors may have done to others in the past. I wish to offer you my unconditional forgiveness and if we have harmed you, we ask for your unconditional forgiveness. We thank you all for this opportunity. We invite all the souls at this time to offer unconditional service. We ask all of these souls to serve with love, peace and harmony. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So there are a few souls that have just come in. You are in the middle of a forgiveness practice. We will now chant a song called Love, Peace, and Harmony, which offers extraordinary blessings beyond your comprehension blessings. It clears karma. It 
it brings virtue into your world and it serves all souls unconditionally i hope that you've come with an open heart because this is one of the most and highest wisdoms you can attain and apply to bring blessings into your life financially so please set aside any thinking that you might have and join in in this opportunity to release spiritual debts and to gain virtue let us all chant together Kristen has posted the words in the chat boxes Lula, Lula, li. Lula, Lula, la, li. Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, ha, li, Lula, <coughs> Lula, ha, li, Lula. I love my heart and soul. Self clears your karma. I love all humanity. Generate good virtue. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace and harmony offer this service with your heart and soul truly give your heart and soul to serve others lula lula li lula lula la li lula lula li Lula, ha, li, lula, lula, ha, li, lula. Repeat after me, dear every soul in my body, the soul of my organs, systems, my cells, my RNA, my DNA, every soul in my body, please chant love, peace, and harmony to serve all souls unconditionally especially the souls that I and my ancestors have harmed, they're flourishing. Now it's not just you chanting, it's every soul in your body chanting. Continue. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, la, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, ha, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Oh, I. Now, English. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Send your love to all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> love, peace, and harmony Lula Lula Li Lula Lula La Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula La, 
my love, my heart and soul. Really love yourself, it clears your karma. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace and harmony. Love, peace and harmony. <coughs> ha, ha, ha. Keep your eyes closed. I'm going to move you into the next layer. Continue to repeat after me if it is comfortable. Dear my own soul, all layers of the divine Tao source, my beloved creator, my heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints, please forgive me for my lack of gratitude. Please forgive me for complaining. Please forgive me for not recognizing your constant unconditional service to my soul and my soul journey. Please forgive me for not taking responsibility and seeing my own self-created debts. Please bless me, heaven, all my heaven's teams, my beloved creator, please bless me to awaken to your service to me. Bless me to awaken to being more grateful for all that you do for me. Please bless me to see everything, regardless of how I have judged it in the past, with gratitude for everything gives me an opportunity to grow more or clear a spiritual debt. Therefore, by seeing things in gratitude, I can create a better future. Dear all souls in all time, if I have ever offered you thoughts, words, or actions that were not in gratitude, not referencing appreciation to you, for all that you have ever done for me. I sincerely apologize. If I have ever offered complaining, judgment, criticism, gossiping, I understand there is no excuse. I am becoming more aware of this spiritual debt that I am creating. I ask your forgiveness. I ask most humbly as I chant to please receive the virtue to forgive me. I promise that as I receive more flourishing, more financial blessings, that I will continue to make others happier and healthier. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us continue to chant to serve others unconditionally. Lu la lu la li Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la Lu la ha li lu la Lu la li lu la Wo ai wo xin er ling Wo ai Sorry, that's Chinese. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace and harmony. Love, peace and harmony. Lu la lu la li Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la 
I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If it is comfortable for you, I invite you to bow your head nine times to all the beings of light who offered their service today. They offered their virtue <clears throat> to help us to offset our debts. We bow our heads also to all the souls that have offered us their forgiveness. All those that have been holding on, waiting for us to awaken, to realize the suffering we may have brought upon their journey. We offer our gratitude to Master Shah for bringing this great wisdom on the nature of soul and soul power. The power of forgiveness and how it can release lifetimes of blockages. The one sentence secret is all suffering and all success in every aspect of life is rooted in your spiritual virtue and your spiritual debt. In heaven, virtue is good karma. On earth, financial flourishing is a reflection of that. If you are not flourishing here, you do not have enough good karma. Now I must teach you something that I heard the other day from my teacher, Master um, Francisco who will be teaching this weekend in Hawaii. And he said that heaven decides when and how much virtue to release to your physical bank on earth. It's not up to you. For example, what if you were scheduled to have a heart attack and you're doing unconditional, a lot of flourishing, a lot of service, a lot of service, a lot of service. Heaven might use that virtue to offset the spiritual debt that would cause that heart attack. <clears throat> so you may not have money come to you. In fact, you might have more bills because you had to go to the hospital, but you're alive. You have to understand how heaven works. They will always work for your best interests. They will always work to keep you here on earth as long as possible so that you can increase your soul's standing, awaken to your soul's journey, uh, enlighten yourself as is possible. <clears throat> Enlightenment is difficult in general because we don't live long enough and we don't wake up fast enough. So heaven is always working on our behalf. Our heaven's teams are always working on our behalf. Everything we've ever done, all the teachings Master Shah has ever brought to humanity that I have regurgitated through my live streams are here to awaken you to your soul in its journey and release the spiritual debts and increase your virtue by releasing your spiritual debts and serving others. What is service? Making others happier and healthier, okay? It could be as simple as a smile. If all you did every day because you couldn't rub two nickels together was walk down the street smiling, chanting love, peace, and harmony, your virtue bank would fill up a whole lot faster than almost everybody that, walked, that you walked by. Um, that's just a fact. So it's very important to remember these uh, conscious and strong pieces of information. And most important to not do this just once. It's wonderful doing it with me, I understand. I'm, I'm literate and I can walk you through forgiveness practices, <clears throat> but you have enough baseline to make a heartfelt forgiveness. Just think about it. What would happen if you had a business and it got yanked out from underneath you from somebody greedy and corrupt? It could wipe out your house. It could wipe out your family. People could get sick. Think about it in the old days, right? When, when if you lost your farm or there was no crops, there was famine. People died, right? The plagues, all that stuff was easy to come by. It doesn't take much in the past for somebody to crumble. It's entirely possible for you or your ancestors to have done some greedy things in the past and people suffered and you don't know that. But when you go into a deep forgiveness practice, you bring your thoughts into those arenas. You go into the depth of the potential suffering because you're very clear on how much you're suffering financially. You need to become, it's that way for a reason. 
So you go into that depth on the opposite side. You ask deeply for forgiveness. You chant to bless all those souls that have been harmed. You chant to serve all souls unconditionally. And just be consistent, not once, not twice, every day. <clears throat> this, and then you make promises and vows. You talk to God. Dear God, I promise, I vow that as financial flourishing comes, I will continue to serve and bless others. I will not just keep it for myself and be greedy with it. You know, the way heaven works is oneness. Oneness is not selfishness, it's selflessness. So you have to follow through with your vows. Heaven will test you. They'll give you opportunities. They will bring you flourishing. They'll, and just, they're going to cross their arms and watch what you do with it. So follow through with your commitments. This is simple, reproducible wisdom and teachings. I give all credit to my spiritual father, Master Shah. Beautiful soul. So uh, I want to make uh, opportunity available for everybody here. I will do three days of blessings for your finances. The honor fee is very low. It's only $50. Okay. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to offer <clears throat> three days. I will turn on a very powerful healing treasure that I have. I will bless all of the souls in a group. The only way I can, I can afford to do this is in a group blessing. It doesn't really matter. Heaven offers the same value whether I do it one at a time or a hundred at a time. Um, the blessing is only $50. And you can do this by contacting me. The link is on my website uh, if you go to my store. It's called uh, Divine Energy Blessing. It's the lowest listed honor fee, $50. If you go to my store, this is the only one that's that affordable. Um, and you would honor for it. And what I'm going to do is, what's today, Thursday? Okay. I'm going to uh, do it Saturday, Sunday, and Monday is when I will offer this blessing. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I will do it for... Oh, you guys are so blessed. I'm going to do it for 30 minutes. I'll sit down and do a concentrated blessing for 30 minutes. What will that look like? It doesn't mean money's going to fall in your bank account or fall into your lap. What it looks like is I'll be offering huge blessings that is basically putting virtue in your account in heaven. And then it's up to heaven what they do with it. Most likely, uh, I've seen it again and again and again, most likely you'll get that $50 back within a week. So it's kind of like... A return, a very fast return. You just got to look for it. You'll see it come back. It could come back in the form of a, of a refund. It could come back in the form of a letter that arrives that you didn't expect or a discount on something that you weren't expecting. Uh, but it'll come back. I've seen it consistently. So for those that are interested, I will do three days of blessings, half hour each. This is a, this is a very rare offer. I've never done this before, so I'm just kind of experimenting. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> I would recommend you do it because I do this all the time with my teacher. He, he offers financial blessings. I put out a couple hundred dollars and uh, invariably the next week the money comes right back to me. That's why I know it works because I've done it before. Um, so <clears throat> um, that is available on my store. Uh, Kristen might be try trying to find the link now to the store at my website which she'll post. And then you just click on the one for 50 on or through PayPal or something like that. I'm going to acknowledge that you did it. I'll send you an email acknowledging it. I will tell you the times that I will be doing that blessing. Uh, I may send out, you know, a phone number. Yeah, I will do that. I'll send out a phone number uh, and a, uh, a code. And so if you call in at the appropriate time um, on that phone number and code, you'll be able to, to tune in and receive it uh, in person. It will come to you regardless. You know, we're all around the world, different time zones. So don't worry about not receiving it because it's not, Technically, it's not offered to you on a physical basis. It's offered to your soul. So your soul's going to get it no matter what. Um, but uh, if that's of interest to any of you, I'm happy to offer that service. All right? Um, so this is today's teachings. Please share it. If you're new and you enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you prefer podcasts, because it's hard to, to find me at this time uh, on live on Facebook, then again, follow the links and information above. It will lead you to my podcast. They run about a week behind, but uh, uh, there's the exact same teachings just in podcast form. And I look forward to serving you in the future. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody.